Hello engineers, most welcome to eCivil Tech. In this video, we are going to learn about the configure. Whenever you start your Stat Pro software, before creating a new file, you will get this configure button. Okay, this is the configure button which we are going to cover in this video. Now, once you will click on this configure button, this window will be open. In this window, you can see multiple tabs like general options, file format, design codes, and Bentley Cloud services. But here we are going to uh, look only two important options like general, general tab and the design code. So these two are very important and these two things we are going to cover in this particular video. Now why we should configure before starting the design file? By using configure button you can personalize StatPro software. By using this option you can tell software that which unit format and the design codes you are going to use in your every file so that it will save you a lot of time. Now why we should configure before starting the design file? By using configure button you can personalize StatPro software. By using this option you can tell software that which unit format and which design code you are going to use every time in your every file. Please note that there are some options of this which you can actually change inside the software itself but it is recommended to set those settings here itself. Now in this video I am going to first tell you what options we will have to choose in the configure button. Now first we will discuss about the general tab. In general tab you can see the basic units. Which units should we choose? See if you are working on a international code or the Indian code then choose metric because metric it works in kilonewton and the meter and if you will choose English in English it works on inches and the kgs. So if you are using American code then you can choose English because it works on inches and kg. But here we will use Indian code and Indian code works on metric system that is kg and meter. So we will choose metric over here. Now second option is global axis. In Stat Pro, vertical axis is y axis but some software use z as a vertical axis. By default Stat Pro uses y axis up so I recommend you to keep this only. Because all the other engineers and everybody who use Stat Pro, they use Y up only. If you change to Z axis, it will create the confusion. Other engineers cannot use your uh, file, they will get confused. So it is recommended to use Y up only. Okay. Now third option is working directory. Here you can choose where you want to save your file by default. Okay. But it is not required at all because whenever we create a new file or a new project, we always create in a new folder. So we will keep this blank only. Last option in this is the personalized application. Uh, here you can choose diagram, background color and the theme. Let me show you this. First is the background color. Uh, here we get two options, black and white. Let it be black and uh, say OK and start the software. So we will be able to see uh, how the white background looks. OK, I will keep it white and say OK. And now let's start some uh, recent uh, projects. Here at the background you can see everything is white. Now let me close this project. Again come to configuration and now here I will choose black color and say OK. Now again let me go to uh, that file and now you can see the background color is black. So black color is good for your eyes because it not uh, put a lot of uh, pressure on your eyes so you can use black color but most of the people use the white color only in the star pro that's why in uh, my other video tutorial i am going to use white color only you can again go to file and close it and come to configuration and change it to change it to white and say okay again you want to see go to the recent project and you can see it is white now close it Again come to configuration. So this is personalization. Uh, you can use black color. Black color is good for eyes. Now the themes. In themes you can see multiple option. Uh, first option is colorful. When you will keep this colorful you can see uh, other uh, there are many color it used to show you. And here I am going to use blue color. Let me cl click on the blue color and see what changes happens. Say OK. And now you can see your entire window is bluish in the color. The appearance is changed. Let me change it again. Let me choose some other color like green 
and say ok now you can see all the appearance change into the green color now let me go to the this file so you can see all the how the tabs are looking and these uh, light green color over here and the menus in the green so you can choose whatever color you like but uh, here also I will close it again and go to configure and keep colorful only because it is the I think this is the best by default so we'll keep it colorful only now go to configuration again so these are the options in this entire configuration tab in general tab I will recommend two things to check twice first is the unit base unit that you will have to keep it matrix if you are working on any international code or Indian code and the second thing is global access should be Y and rest all thing is your personal uh, choice whatever you want to keep you can keep now second thing is the design codes in design codes I have already chosen Indian codes but if you will start it for the first time it will uh, show you American code so you can choose your required code over here okay so this first one is for the steel and uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, codes that uh, start pro actually supports many international codes it uh, supports en 1993 european code is also there indian code is also there is 801 is 802 is also there for the towers design okay but uh, for the general steel structure design we use is 800 so this is is old is 800 this is is uh, 800 2007 limit state design and this is is 800 2007 working stretch design so in india still many people use working stretch design for the steel structure so you can go with this code but uh, it is recommended to always design in limit state uh, method so i will choose is 800 2007 lsd okay for steel structure and for the concrete we have is 456 and uh, is 19320 so if you are uh, designing rcc structure where you are going to do all the reinforcement fitting work uh, as per uh, 13920 you can choose is 13920 for the earthquake or you can simply go with is 456 for the time being i will recommend to use is 456 and uh, for aluminium code there is only one code for the us and uh, actually in india nobody design aluminium code so we will use this us code only and for the timber also let it be whatever it is because we are not going to design aluminium and timber over here so let it be whatever it is two main important codes are steel and the concrete okay and then say okay let me start a new file anywhere let it be anywhere choose matrix and uh, create and now i will go to design and see for the steel structure it is showing is 800 lsd because we have chosen in the configuration again if i will click on concrete design then it is showing is 456 so this saves your time because if uh, you have not set anything there then here it will show you american code and then you will come again over here and then choose your code whatever you want so it takes a little bit time when you are sure which code you are going to use for most of your design then it is very much recommended to set it in the configure button by using the configure button you can actually customize your software personalize your software as per your needs so this was all about the configure button i hope this video was useful for you if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe our channel if you are new to our channel and also share with your friend uh, we will meet you in the next video in next video we are uh, learn about the modeling how to create a new model thank you for watching see you